company Workhorse. Uh, our core business is we make electric delivery trucks like the one you see behind me here. So this is your standard style frame rail delivery truck with a box on it, but it's got a battery packs, electric drive, and an internal combustion engine, which makes it a hybrid uh, that it can use to recharge its battery throughout the day. We have a few big uh, partners that we're working with and selling these trucks to right now. Most notably UPS has about 150 of these trucks on the road right now. We also sell trucks to FedEx, to Cintas, to Alpha Baking, and also we have a prototype that we've delivered to the USPS for the post office potential retrofit of all of their fleet with the new potentially hybrid electric trucks for the future, 180,000 trucks that could be. But today we're talking about the Horsefly Delivery Drone, which is the big reason you're all here. Now the Horsefly Drone integrates with the top of our electric delivery trucks. It allows the driver to send it on an autonomous mission to deliver a package while they go on and do other packages and continue their day. So the drone comes up out of the top of the truck when it's given a package, it knows the address that it's going to, takes off, goes to a safe altitude, travels to its destination, and in the meantime, the driver can close up the top, drive to their next des delivery destination, deliver a package, you know, the normal boring old way where they just put it on the porch by hand. And meanwhile, the drone is in flight, reaches its destination, descends, drops off the package, and then asks, hey, where's, where's the truck gone now? And can autonomously find the truck wherever it's gone in the while it's been delivering its package. So when the drone gets back to the truck, it tells the driver it's above it, the driver clicks a button that says they're okay to land, the drone lands back on top of the truck, the system puts it back in its cradle where it can recharge and be ready to do another delivery then again later. So we've written the software that allows all these packages that are on the truck to be divvied up by the computer between the person and the drone to find the most efficient way to say, okay, send the drone to this one while you go and do these and eliminate your need to drive a couple miles this way out of your way just to do a single package. So the drone working in concert and doing tandem deliveries with the driver, eliminating driven miles are where the real cost benefits come into this situation. The end user can have a phone app that allows them to see live video of their package being delivered by the drone, track it autonomously, and see uh, live updates from when the drone drops off their package. It even lets them ping in their yard where they want a safe delivery point to be so the drone goes to that spot. The drone knows about local air traffic, anything with an ADSD transponder, the drone can see and avoid medical helicopters, low-flying aircraft, anything that's in the area that it shouldn't be hitting. It also gets real-time weather updates, so it will allow itself to be sent on a mission if weather stations nearby are reporting high winds that are more than it can fly in or heavy precipitation. So uh, that's enough of me yammering on. Uh, you want to see the drone fly, so uh, I'm going to hand it off to our uh, pilot here. Uh, since we're inside, we don't have GPS and good cell service. All these deliveries today are being done manually by hand by our pilot, Jeff. So I'm going to tell uh, Jeff that we are uh, go for flight. So the first thing that Jeff's going to de demonstrate for you today is what we call a winch delivery. So this is a system that we've got on the drone that allows the package to be on a string inside the cage there. So when the drone descends to a safe altitude, it can then winch the package down the rest of the way to the ground and stay out of reach of, say, pets, children, anything that would disrupt the drone if it were to come into the area in a residential place. And so now in the sequence, the drone would be asking, hey, where's the truck? And then if the truck's moved elsewhere, the drone would fly to where the truck is then and uh, tell the driver when it's arrived. We're going to be demonstrating a different type of drone delivery uh, in just a minute after it's docked and Scotty loads a new package into it. On the screens, you can see a live video feed from the drone, and this is uh, an indication of what uh, someone sitting either in the truck or in one of our uh, 
call centers that we could set up to monitor these drones would see, which is a live feed of what the drone's seeing, and uh, you know, keep an eye on what's going on out in the world. Here we see the truck's delivery system, the drone and putting it back in its uh, cradle. So, a little bit more about the truck here while Scotty's loading a new package. This hybrid <coughs> truck behind me, uh, instead, in its original version of having a large diesel, gen diesel engine inside, was good for only about five to seven miles per gallon. The hybrid versions that we have on the road right now with FedEx and UPS get up to 28 to 32 miles per gallon in the real world situations. So, we're seeing you know, about a five fold increase in fuel economy in the trucks we have on the road right now. Looks like Scotty's got the other package in it. So we're going to do a different type of delivery now. So now what Jeff's going to demonstrate is if you have an area that has, you know, such as a hospital that has an actual helicopter landing pad or somewhere that has uh, an area appropriate for the drone to actually land in, when the drone goes to deliver a package, it can actually descend and land on the ground and then leave the package behind as it takes off. And it's, means you don't need to winch it down to the ground and you can have a nice, safe, easy drop of the package in such a location. And then once again, the groom would autonomously find the truck wherever it's gone in the meantime and redock with it. So, uh, now the drone's back in the truck, uh, we're going to do a little Q&A session up here, and the question is, what's the range on the drone? So the drone's got about enough battery for a 30-minute flight time, so, and as long as the